When did I know Michael would be the Michael we see today? I saw within him this will. Yeah, we sell shoes, but it's not about shoes. This is about something far, far greater. I am Howard White. Some call me H. And this is my life in sneakers. My father left us. We didn't have anywhere to go, so we moved with my mother's sister, kind of in the middle of the woods. And they said they let you play basketball down that new high school down the road. I couldn't play, but they couldn't either, so I was on the basketball team. It was Dougie Dwyer, my science teacher, who said, if you're gonna be a basketball player, you gotta have Converse. And if you bring me $10, I'll get you some Converse. So I went and I looked on the side of the road and find soda bottles and I cashed them in and came up with $10 and gave them to Dougie Dwyer. And those sneakers told me I was as good as anybody. I finally played in college. Tore one knee up my senior year of high school. Tore the other one up my senior year of college. And I coached after I played at Maryland. The freshman, John Lucas, who came in and took my place, I tried to help him become the best guy he could be, the best player he could be. That was the person that came to me and said, there's this great job with Nike. I said, with who? He said, with Nike. When did I know, in essence, Michael would be the Michael we see today? I have a feeling for things. And when Mother and Pop and MJ, we all came here, you feel something. Once we signed them, then we really spent a lot of time together. You know, I would go, I would stay right at his place. When he would come to DC, he would stay at my little house. We played table tennis. And I would beat him. That was not acceptable. He went home, he ordered a ping pong table, then he got them to put ping pong tables at the Birdo Center, at their practice facility. He would not accept defeat. B.J. Armstrong said this one time, and I must agree. He said, Michael never lost. He either won or learned. I saw within Hell, this will is not about basketball. I ain't sure the world needed another basketball shoe. Uh, a lot of people were great, but I was looking for something that could change the way people saw themselves. Tinker would be my favorite designer, Tinker Hatfield. When Tink came on board in the three and beyond, I would take Tinker to Michael's house. I would let him go through the cars and let him go through the closets and let him just have access to what Michael was. I don't know how in the hell he came up with them damn things. I'm like, okay, you saw what that made you see this, but their mind is so different. One of the most interesting shoes I thought was the 11. You know, as Tinker talked to him about that and I mean, MJ, oh yeah, 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 yeah. Man, this is, I can see kids wearing it to proms. I can see, man, this thing is gonna be huge. And, and remember, this was before people were wearing sneakers everywhere. This was like out of left field, patent leather. They were different than what anyone had ever seen or could imagine. Obviously, now we can see with hindsight what that did. And how they still sell them at Christmas. It changed the game. My choice in shoes was the two because I got to name that and it was the imagination. It was him in that white jumpsuit 
flying through the air. And it was just my imagination running away with me. Just the nuances of what that means when you talk about fine Italian leather, iguana. And they're the wings of a dove. You kidding me? They got dove wings on the eight shoe. How high can we go? Here are the wings. Man, H on the back. Dove wings on the side. Man, that pretty cool. The H White Air Jordan 2. Giving kids a chance through scholarships that they would have never known. And they got a lot to do with basketball. We started a program brand called Fundamentals because MJ said his teachers meant so much to him. We would give money to all of these teachers that they sent in proposals, that wanted to do something in their school, that wanted to help, all the way to scholarships that can enhance somebody's life. Sneakers for me, when I think of my journey, are literally points of inspiration. I'm looking for that exact same kid that sold soda bottles to come up with $10 to buy a pay of coppers. And all of this came from a collaboration of individuals and people and companies around a single young man from Chapel Hill that together we might inspire the world to be better.